Hi, I'm John Gonzalez. And I'm Amy Sherman. We're about to show you how to have a Michigan's Best Day right here in Grand Rapids. Furniture City, River City, Beer City. No matter what you call it, Grand Rapids is a growing destination for travelers. Today, John and Amy will show you a few of their favorite things to see, do, and eat around town. In Grand Rapids, you can start your day with a strong cup of pour over or a hearty brunch. Monroe Center is the main street of downtown. Once a bustling block of department stores, it's now a peaceful tree lined street where you'll find the little bird. Husband and wife team Sarah Wetman and Joel Wabeek opened the restaurant featuring an all day brunch menu in late 2017. We built the bar and it looked like a train to me. It's kind of like a dining car in a way. You can come in for breakfast, you can come in for lunch, you can come in for dinner, coffee, a pastry, a cocktail. We're definitely like a from scratch kitchen. We like to make everything that we can in house. Reinvented classics, you know, taking things that are familiar and putting um, a little bit of a change into it. We do a classic French omelet. We do it with a, a boars and cheese, our burger, which is a smash burger, chrome griddle, two patties. We wanted to provide a classic but not stuffy environment that harkened back to a different time of downtown. You'll find incredible art all over Grand Rapids, from the food on your plate to a world-class art museum located just around the corner from Little Bird. Grand Rapids art scene has exploded over the past two decades, and the centerpiece is this 125,000 square foot home to the Grand Rapids Art Museum, which opened in 2007. The Grand Rapids Art Museum was founded in 1910. It started as a small organization of people who really wanted to bring to this city a place to see art and to learn about art. Spend a couple hours wandering the three floors of galleries showcasing their collection and special exhibits from all over the world. Taste the nostalgic summer vibes of their collection of screen printed posters designed by Herman Miller graphic artist Stephen Fricombe for the company's annual summer picnics. It's especially touching because it's a local artist and it's a local project. The museum's mission is to connect people through art, creativity, and design. So we're hoping that everyone will come to the museum. We love to have families and groups come and take a look at the wonderful things, the treasures that we have here on view. After exploring the exhibits, follow the brick road down Ionia Avenue to a different kind of gallery, one dedicated to food at the Grand Rapids Downtown Market. One part market, one part food court, the Grand Rapids Downtown Market is a modern gathering place. Stock up for your next dinner party with fresh fish, cheese, and charcuterie. The dining counters have a little something for everyone, whether you're looking for a taco or Thai. And in between, you'll find ice cream, spices, gourmet popcorn, and more. Michiganders call it pop, and here at High Tide Soda, you'll find over 500 colorful sodas. Make your own six pack of pops you won't find at the grocery store. The downtown beverage scene doesn't stop with pop. Here you'll find a juice bar that got its start at the downtown market. And one of the largest craft breweries in the nation. In 2013, Anissa and Jermail Eddy followed their entrepreneurial dreams and opened a juice stand at the downtown market. They built a cult following over five years of hard work, allowing them to make the jump to a storefront of their own in one of the new residential towers popping up around downtown. Malamaya is a combination of my three kids, Malachi, Nehemiah, and Josiah. We take whole fruit, whole vegetables, whole herbs, and turn them into something delicious. We serve juices, smoothies, um, acai bowls, which are very, very popular. And juice is great for you. It really gets the nutrition to you at a cellular level. Kids love it as well. It's kind of like nature's rainbow right there in a cup. If you want a, a place to gather, if you want a place to connect over some great food, some great coffee, some great beverages, Malamai's Juice Bar is a place for you. No trip to Beer City, USA is complete without stopping for a pint at Founders Brewing, the small neighborhood brewery turned star of the craft beer world. Book a tour online to go inside the now massive facility that can produce more than 1 million barrels a year. When you pull in on like 131, you see founders yes. right there. Yep. We do have the entire city block, so over a half dozen expansions, you know, in the last 10 or 12 years. So on a brewery tour, you're going to see a little bit of everything. 
I think it's pretty amazing when you walk back there to see multiple production lines. I yes. mean, you can see bottles, you can see cans, you can see kegs, you can see the giant fermenters, I mean, which are huge. We have so many great mainstays on tap. You can have all day, you can have breakfast out, those well-known beers, but we're also really fortunate to feature taproom exclusives. Those come from our research and development brew house that's trying new recipes, maybe tweaking existing recipes, and really as a taproom customer, you get to be part of that process. Hey, I loved it. Hey, maybe I didn't love it. We have a great deli with awesome food offerings as well, so you won't go away hungry. You guys are known also for your Grand Rapids Tap Room having one of the best patios in all of Grand Rapids. It's so welcoming, it's open, it's the first thing you see when you come to the, the front of the building. We're so proud to be in Grand Rapids. We have dozens of breweries here in the county and we love being part of that, essentially, you know, team of breweries because if you're visiting one, why not visit a few? You know, it wasn't that long ago that the beer selection in bars across America was pretty limited. But there was no shortage of shag carpeting, wood paneling, and funky furniture. And there's a restaurant right here in Grand Rapids that keeps that funky vibe alive with 70s decor and a far out menu. When you walk into the Commons for the first time, we hope that you look around and recognize some things from your past or, or just a vibe from the past. Before I even had a space, I was collecting things from people's garages, basements, from my family. I took glassware out of my mom's kitchen. We have the traditional dining room seating. We also have our lounge area, so there are couches and chairs and TVs and video games. We have a cute little patio and there's a fountain and it's quiet. Our cocktails are a little more on the higher end. My first bartender and bar manager that I had worked real hard to pick old drinks and kind of update them to the way our palates are today. The Commons menu is fantastic. Everything is homemade from scratch right down to the salad dressing. American comfort food, we do throw in some vintage things. We have Salisbury steak right now. We rotate quite a bit. These wings look crispy. So we braise them for hours in a spice rub and then we just quick fry them. This burger, I, it, it's just like calling my name. Thanks to Grand Butchers on Michigan, they do our hamburger for us. Housemade pickles, lots of American cheese, caramelized onions, and some garlic aioli. All in here. Yep. When you peace out at the commons, take a short walk to check out another era of iconic American decor. Perched on a ridge overlooking downtown, Heritage Hill has long been one of the most coveted places to live in the city. And one of its stars is this home designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. The two-story prairie-style home filled with wood and glass was designed by Wright in 1908 for Meyer and Sophie May, who ran a large menswear store. In 1985, international furniture giant Steelcase purchased the home and carried out an extensive two-year restoration. The doors open three days a week for free tours led by docents who will guide you through Wright's meticulous details, like the shortened furniture designed specifically for the original owner. Beyond walls built by acclaimed architects, Grand Rapids is now home to a growing collection of outdoor art. While strolling around town, peek around the corner of alleys and parking lots, and you'll often find walls adorned with impressive murals. If you're lucky, you might even encounter an artist at work. There will be people that will sit for hours and watch you work, watch you paint, and want to know what the story is. I love mural painting for that interaction. So this is your mural. It was a finalist for Art Prize 2018. It's called Anishinaabe Kwe. Anishinaabe Kwe in our language basically means Native women. It all developed through the story of the Native women that used to have a sanctuary place down here on the river. I grew up hearing the story of the plum tree, the plum fields that they had as a basically ceremonial spot. I didn't want to take away from the river, so I tried to create the river a lot throughout the piece, kind of like it never was concrete. Basically, you're walking through a mural that is a living history and you become part of it. <laughs> I love the community of artists in Grand Rapids. It's huge, it's very close. Then during Art Prize, you get so many artists from all around the world. Winter in Grand Rapids can be brutal, but when it's not snowing, this city loves dining al fresco. And on the north side of downtown, you can dine along the river. 
One of the more recent newcomers to the dining scene, Linear, is a modern American restaurant in a bright industrial space overlooking the River Edge Trail. Chef Chris Weimer runs the kitchen with windows open to the street. The menu transitions with seasonally available produce from local farms. Popular entrees include the spring pea gnocchi and wagyu flank steak. This chocolate mousse looks decadent and rich and probably pretty intense. That's exactly how I would describe it. Chocolate mousse is it's going to have a little bit of bitter tones, um, very rich. I have a rhubarb strawberry galette, very seasonal, and then it has a homemade cardamom ice cream. I would eat this for breakfast, and then I would eat it like for dessert. I mean, it's just delicious. And that's how you have a Michigan's best day, exploring some of the best arts and eats downtown Grand Rapids has to offer. We'll see you on our next adventure.